Well, I'm going to ask that to Osama Uwiwi, who is just next to me. He is the uncle of Iyad al Khalak, and he has a message to convey. Hello, how are you? I am Iyad's uncle. I want to talk to you about Iyad. He is 32 years old, but with mind, seven years old. He is with autism. He is a very polite person, very organized, um, innocent person, and uh, like people, like perfumes, like animals. He likes animals. He loves animals. He loves uh, farming and plants. Osama, Osama, you told me he lived in a chaotic world. What does it mean? Yes, really, he, he lives in a special world. He is a person that depends on himself. He helps others. He does not let anyone to do his work. He do it by himself. He is uh, with autism since he wa was born. Uh, nice, very nice, very soft, very su super fine person. Does he know to differentiate between a human being and another human being? He does not. He can't even differentiate between people. I am his uncle. He does not talk to me. He, does, he talks to his mother and father. That's it. If he see me, he does not uh, talk to me. He, any, any, any person, he does not um, talk to him. He can't deal with... He does not know that there is a conflict between Arabs and Israelis. He does not know that there are Jews, there are soldiers, there are killings. He does not know such like th th these things. That's it. They killed him like that with uh, cold blood. And he was very pure, super fine, innocent people. Sama, what do you demand from the Israeli authorities? I demand justice, justice, and I want this thing not to go next time for any, any person in this country, in this city. I, I, am, I am very upset, and the family is very, very, very much upset for what had happened, and everyone here in Jerusalem are afraid of being the coming victim of these monsters monsters that they are going around i mean the soldiers that they are killing for suspect they kill for suspect not for sure they suspect someone they killed him thank you thank That's you it. osama as you can see there is one key word uh, which we hear here uh, it's anger and fear fear of the people of being pinpointed as potential suspects and share the fate of Yad al-Khalak, even if they are innocent and harmless, and the fear of the Israeli authorities that behind every Palestinian could be hidden a pistol, a knife, even if it's a cell phone. Pierre, uh, thank you for the report and please share our... Oh,